I didn't know we were going to speak, but um, thank you for keeping my family complete. My experience has truly been life-changing. There's the hope of it being able to give me back the use of my hands and my upper extremities, which would be huge. Thank you for your funding, which gives patients like me and my situation hope. It was a strong year, and CIRM is getting stronger. And you might ask, how strong can CIRM get? CIRM can get Jake strong. I'm Jake Javier. I'm 19 years old from Danville, California. On June 9th of this last year, I had a spinal cord injury after uh, diving into a pool. Um, the day before my high school graduation, that left me paralyzed from the chest down. From a standing position, he dove into the deep end. And God only knows how that happened, but his head hit the bottom and he fractured his neck. Our life spiraled into a full speed, catastrophic feeling of our entire life and Jake's life being turned upside down. And Jake had the courage to participate in one of our clinical trials and was the first to receive a 10 million cell embryonic stem cell dose into his spinal cord. What that has given Jake is the hope of independence, to be able to transfer in and out of bed and the car and whatnot. He's not even concerned about walking at this point. And that was never promised to him. But we want to thank all of you for what you do in helping families that go through these times in their lives to give them hope above all. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. So there's not a moment to lose in this game. We have got to go, uh, and every time you meet someone as courageous and as strong as Jake, who is willing to take that chance, uh, to take those risks for us, uh, reminds us of, of our responsibility and our duties to get on with it. So I want to introduce Carl Treaty to tell you about his experience as the first patient uh, to receive anti-CD47 in a CIRM-funded clinical trial after being diagnosed with throat and lung cancer. In 2006, I was diagnosed with uh, a cancer in the larynx. Went through uh, 35 radiation treatments, and in 2011 was declare, declared clear of cancer. In 2012, uh, we found cancer in my lungs. We found adenoid cystic carcinoma, which is a cancer for which there is no effective treatment. And fortunately, in uh, August of 14, um, I was able to participate in a, in a trial at Stanford uh, for over uh, a 72-week period. I received weekly treatments. We saw a decrease in the growth rate, but did not see sufficient benefit to justify my continuing in that particular trial. I wanted to take this opportunity to tell all of you thank you for what you do, for your support, for your funding, which gives patients like me and my situation um, hope that uh, we could very, very possibly see a cure. Thank you very much. when you meet Jake and when you meet Carl. The point of this is we cannot ever be satisfied with what we're doing. We always, always have to be getting better. And so we will never stop getting better.
how much better? Until we're cured. I'm going to introduce to you Evangelina and Brendan, our first two patients to have been cured through CIRM funded programs. Thank you for keeping my family complete. I think it's hard when you read and you hear, hear about all of this advanced medicine. It's hard to believe until you actually see it, the results, you know, and it's just truly wouldn't get to enjoy watching my daughter see some of the things that we do these days. So thank you, thank you very much. I just want to thank everybody uh, for all the work that you guys do. Um, my experience has truly been life-changing, and uh, you guys are doing great work, and I just hope that you continue to push the boundaries and uh, do this kind of research and you know, help as many people as you can. Both of them uh, have significantly reduced life expectancies otherwise. Both of them today are cured. To Helena and to Brendan uh, and to Jake and to Tom, thank you so much for being here as well. You're making history for all Californians. Thank you. <laughs>